Hello and welcome to the Vancouver Island Regional Library's virtual butterfly program. We will be hatching butterfly larvae and live streaming the process. When all the butterflies are hatched, we will release them in a suitable location. For our program, we will be purchasing the larvae from Flutterbys in Langley, BC. You can also purchase a cage from them or you may build your own. The instructions for the cage is also from Flutterbys. Today we are building a hanging cage to hold our butterflies until release. For the cage, we will need the following materials. Two meters of tool fabric, one and a half meters of string or ribbon, three large embroidery hoops, we are using 36 centimeter hoops and some clips or pins. I'm just going to put some of this material aside for now and we will take them out as we need so that I have more room. First of all, we will cut one and a half meters of tool and we'll put the 0.5 meters aside for now. If you find there's a lot of static electricity when you're working with the tool fabric, you can just use a um, little bit of, uh, take a spray bottle containing a little bit of water and just lightly mist the fabric and it'll control the static ele electricity so that it won't be clinging to your clothes and hair all the time. So, we start with one hoop and we separate the two parts of one hoop and place the fabric around the inner hoop overlapping the ends like this and oops it's a bit slippery. Then we will take the outer hoop and place it over on the outside and it's easier if you lay the fabric down when you're tightening the hoops so you can just lay it down and then tighten the hoops together so that they'll hold the fabric in place. Make sure they're all flush and then we'll tighten the fabric, I mean tighten the hoops so that it'll hold the fabric in place. Like that. Then we will take a piece of string and we will gather the top and we will tie off the top top here so it will close off the opening on the top. Then we will take the second hoop and again separate the two ends of the hoop and we will slip the other, the in, inner part of the hoop inside again and wrap the fabric around trying to keep it sort of level with the original fabric so that it's not um, opening, so that the openings are consistent. So, um, 
It's easier if you have two people working on it, but if you go like that and then we take the outer hoop once again and pull it, put it through, put the two hoops together and tighten the hoops. And there we have our completed butterfly cage. Now this cage would hold 36 butterflies. I hope you have fun making your own butterfly cage and I hope you will join us next time when we will be doing, um, we'll be building a butterfly net. Thank you for joining us and please watch our website for more information on other programs like this www.virl.bc.ca Thank you.